Hi everyone, my name's Alice Gibney and I'm the English Coordinator here at Gisborne Secondary College. I'm just going to take you through the English subjects that we have available for Year 11 students and Year 12 students. It is a VCA requirement that all students complete four units of an English subject. So at Year 11, Unit 1 and 2, and at Year 12, Unit 3 and 4. And we do just want to emphasise that it is important to choose wisely as switching English subjects in Year 11 is strongly discouraged, whether that be at the end of Unit 1 or Unit 2, and it's not possible after the commencement of Unit 3. So we do encourage this for the best opportunity to develop the skills appropriate to that form of English to ensure the best possible outcome for the students. One question that we get quite a lot of is, how do I know which English is right for me? Um, subject and course selection is a really exciting time for the year 10 students as you know, their final years of schooling is in sight. Um, we do understand that it can cause some anxiety around making the decision that is right, uh, which looks different for every student and their interests and motivation and abilities. Um, now that students are midway through year 10, it's really important to consider strengths when it comes to English so that the right decision is made. Um, so what we've provided is a guideline with some simple indicators about which English might suit which student. Um, please have a look at this slide and the next slide, which details similarities and differences between the subjects. On this slide here, we have a little bit of a checklist. It tells you which um, topics are covered in which type of English. So it gives you a summary at a glance um, opportunity to consider what you will and what you won't study in each English subject. And please don't hesitate to contact any of the English teachers at any stage to discuss uh, your pathway. The first uh, VCE subject I'm going to talk about is VCE English. VCE English is the most commonly chosen English subject and focuses on how English language is used to create meaning in written, spoken and multimodal texts of varying complexity. Texts selected for study are drawn from past and present, from Australia and other cultures. Non-literary texts are selected for analysis of argument and language. English is designed to meet the needs of students with a wide range of expectations and aspirations. Down the bottom of the slide, you can see the texts studied in Unit 1 and 2, Unit 3 and 4, and then the assessment tasks pertaining to those texts. You'll see that there aren't any specific texts associated with the argument analysis and the oral presentation on, the, on a current issue, um, as they are um, you know, created on a needs basis and are largely non-literary texts. The next subject I want to talk to you about is VCE literature. Lit focuses on meaning derived from texts, relationships between texts, contexts in which they're produced and read and sorry, produced and read, and the experiences readers bring to those texts. I would say that the main difference between English and English literature is that lit focuses much more on closer reading of texts, a much stronger focus on elements of construction, including how and why they're constructed in a specific way. This includes the features of text types and how their specific attributes make them unique. As an example, um, uh, it will focus on, you know, these structural components and how they're used to reinforce key ideas or themes within a piece. Uh, literature is primarily for students who really enjoy reading a great range of different texts, but also have the ability to write in-depth responses that are critical and insightful. 
Uh, given these differences, the faculty uh, strongly recommends that students interested in literature have completed a year nine or year 10 literature elective. This isn't compulsory. If you fall into the category where you might like to study literature, but you haven't done an elective at year nine or 10, please ask your question, uh, sorry, ask your teacher if you have any questions about whether or not you would be suited to studying literature. On this slide here, I have similarly to English listed the Literature Unit 1 and 2 texts, the Literature Unit 3 and 4 texts, and the assessments pertaining to those texts. The final subject we offer at English is English Language. I've got a little bit more information about this one because it's a little bit different to English and English, and English Literature. So English language has a very strong linguistics focus um, and is unique in that it explores a close study of language and language choices in different written and spoken contexts and the way that language is used by individuals and groups. Um, explore, explores the construction of English language and how it's used to create meaning and how that changes over time and place. Here I have a breakdown of English language for Unit 1 and Unit 2, which I completed in Year 11. I'm not going to read all of this to you, uh, but Unit 1 focuses on language and communication, and Unit 2 focuses on language change. And the assessment tasks are listed here. For Unit 3 and 4, the study focuses include language variation and social purpose and language variation and identity. If you're unsure about which English pathway to take, which English subject to choose, or whether or not you should be choosing more than one English subject at VCE, please feel free at any time to come and see me, Miss Gibney, about English, Miss McGee or Mr Waterson about literature, or Miss Moore about English language. Thank you.